next time you see not just this but any box of fufu watch the space for the carb content what does it say the carbohydrate content is 84 grams out of every 100 grams that's how so take a look at this we have the glycemic index what does that mean so the glycemic index is a scale of how fast a carbohydrate breaks down gets absorbed and raises blood glucose okay and of course if it's in excess it's going to turn to fat cholesterol or triglycerides so that is what the gi index is and the greater the index the worse Greetings to you and welcome to the Flourishing Kitchen. Here at the Flourishing Kitchen, you know what we are committed to. Yes, we are aiming to reduce drastically the amount of carbohydrates that we take into our system. So we are exploring ketogenic diet versions of all the African foods that we've been used to. First and foremost, I would like you to subscribe. Please press the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet, so that anytime I upload a flourishing video you will have the benefit of watching it and make helping you to make the responsible choice that you desire this is a special video that seeks to explore um, the dangers of high carb foods like fufu just to disclaim that it is not aimed to destroy anybody's business i'm just using mama's choice in this case but there are several examples of fufu powders that has been used in the past personally i found the mama's choice fufu actually as one of the best on the market until i discovered that even that is not good enough to stay on my staples Before list i did this anytime I'm not a fufu fan like me yeah pure asante and they be a made fufu but once in a while say once a week or something I like a swallow and when I used to do uh, it the old way for those of us in in this part of the world I will mix um, this type of fufu let me show you um this um mama's choice fufu okay and they call it plantain enriched whatever it is contains real let me show you something dangerous next time you see not just this but any box of fufu watch the space for the carb content what does it say the carbohydrate content is 84 grams out of every 100 grams that's how you look for um, the carbohydrate content in every I think for me it's the carb and the sugars that I'm now on a war against and I will share, I will share with you why so it means that if you take like offer box weighing in 84 percent uchemu hundred a emu 84 percent and your carbohydrate starch in one as to whether the starch is even a proper plantain starch or not is another story for another day but what i used to do is i'll get that and then still because my instinct tells me that i need to put in some natural plantain i will um cook some plantain these are plantains from um real plantain from ghana but every so what i will do is i will peel it this is say me jack me no me to try and eat it so what not my not my money who fast what now my blending i had to say coconut and then coconut i'm a bit pounding i can and they are mad soft food. I mean, I've stopped eating this for, I would say, actively stopped eating it for about a year now. And I see the difference. But still, I am on a war against that 84%. And when I found this aubergine version of, of food, I will take, I'm so excited. So let's hear what the experts say about carbs. I chanced upon Dr. Eric Burke's YouTube channel and I was inspired by some of the tips So he take a look at this. Carbs. We have the glycemic index. What does that mean? So the glycemic index is a scale of how fast a carbohydrate breaks down, gets absorbed, and raises blood glucose, okay? And of course, if it's in excess, it's gonna to turn to fat, cholesterol, or triglycerides. So that is what the GI index is, and the great uh, table sugar is 63, okay? rice is about 69 popcorn depending on what type it is 
There's different types of popcorn and whatever you put on it too can range anywhere between the high 70s and the high, uh, low 90s. Bread can go between you know 75 and 85 depending on what kind of bread it is, like refined bread. Because in refined grains, you don't have the fiber. And fiber is a carbohydrate, but it actually has the potential to buffer or slow down this effect right here with blood sugars. Now the potato can also range too because the more that you cook it, the more the uh, sugar molecules break down and the, f the higher it is on this glycemic index. So a raw potato would be way down here, but who's gonna consume a raw potato? They're gonna cook it, they're gonna boil it, and they're gonna mash it, or they're gonna have an instant potato, which is pretty high. Maltodextrin is really high, it's probably I am one of the war high. against that 84%. Which is these carbohydrates are worse than sugar because they are higher on the glycemic index. They'll create more damage. So just because certain foods are carbohydrates and not sugars, doesn't mean that they're healthier, okay? You just have to understand the glycemic index. And lastly, the carbohydrates that you wanna focus on are the vegetable carbohydrates because you have the fiber that feeds the, the colon bacteria, which actually will help fuel um, the body because you, your body can't digest fiber, but the microbes can. So basically fiber gives these microbes the food. In exchange, they give you this healthy, uh, it's called a butyric acid, that then helps regulate blood sugars. Okay, so it actually helps your blood sugars. Uh, and it's loaded with fiber, it's low in sugar, uh, and it's high in nutrients. Okay, so we wanna focus on the vegetable fiber. We don't wanna consume the fruit because it's too much sugar. We definitely do not wanna do the starch. Well, folks, you just had it from the horse's own mouth. Vegetables with high fiber and low carbs are the way to go. And just for our further education, all the types of fufu flowers that are on the market are made from potato flour, which is just like cassava or plantain. And so when I found this aubergine version of, of fufu coconut tea, I'm so excited. We hear so many I but when I'll be to me the one quiet bus on our main. At the end of the day, it's about the dangers that these Ghanaian foods, and that's the carb, high carb content foods, you know, are doing to our system. You know, the Bible says that let your food be your medicine. Bible, that means in the beginning, it was not even God's intentions. Here, you know, who of the insulin, a drought in the control sugar, a drought in control blood pressure, a drought in control weight, a drought in control weight. But say, it's me, she did you here. Now, see, it's me, chan, you did kind sugar and carbohydrates. So, I don't follow it, will do us a lot of good. A lot of our foods in Africa are not foods that we have to make our staples like a baby in the Yes, because of culture, because your texture, man, are you used to it? And once in a while, you may want to steal. You know what I mean? Yes, but maybe once in a while and once in a while. I mean once in a while. Not an opa and we are you ready and net watch now watch next year. It is your boy. Now you listen to our bodies so that our food will be our medicine. Well, I hope you've learned something new. I did when I bumped into this video and I thought to share it with you also. You can actually reach out to Dr. Eric Begg on YouTube. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel for you to actually subscribe. He shares lots and lots of interesting and beneficial information, obviously from a professional point of view. Once again, please subscribe to the channel share it maybe someone too might learn something new minu anum gana for this channel is dedicated to you so un subscribe boy and patch up me a subscribe on this one yeah i have a call on me a don't in so so send me the video be a toho on sabeka no a shibi share na mo bin sun san kebi like it as i always say let thy food be thy medicine please watch the next video for directions on how i make my origin Enjoy.